Hello, welcome to With the Wilsons. Um, this is kind of a crazy weekend for us. Um, Pete is going to have a boys weekend with all of his boys and I am taking Pepper on my very first road trip by myself. It's about, it's not too bad. It's like two and a half hours of driving with her, but she does not like to be in the car seat alone in the back seat for longer than like 30 minutes. And then she just cries. That'll be fun. I've tried to rig up like a spot where she can watch Coco Melon, maybe if my hotspot works in the mountains. And um, otherwise I think it's just gonna be um, a big cry fest for a little while. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a girls weekend and Pete is gonna have a boys weekend. We'll see who fares out the best, but I think they might hang at the farm a little bit. Um, just hang here and watch some movies, hang out, not have to worry about a little uh, tot walking around everywhere and having to be quiet at night or anything. So they're gonna have a lot of fun. The reason I'm going on a road trip is because for Mother's Day, me and my two girl cousins um, on my mom's side uh, went in and bought a uh, Airbnb for the weekend in Chattanooga. So so it's a little like mountain house, so it'll be really cute. Um, but we're all gonna hang out with our moms and wish me luck as I go to get Pepper in the car. Who would have thought that for a day and a half I need all this stuff, but pack and play, luggage, Pepper's luggage, a baby pool, cooler, her high chair. I mean, so much stuff. All right, she is awake. Are we ready? Are you gonna be good for mom? Yeah, we're gonna be good. Say bye bye, we'll see you soon Chattanooga. Here we go. Look at that cocoa melon action. Oh, of course I didn't even press play, oh my gosh. Worst mom ever, okay, hold on. Now it's playing, we've got a happy yes, pepper. Yes, vegetable. All right, here we go, wish me luck. So you might be wondering exactly, uh, wow, my hair is a hot mess this morning. What exactly, you might be wondering, do the boys do on boys weekend? So it's pretty rare, to be honest with you, that it's just me and the boys here without Jordan and Pepper. And so uh, I've got the boys this weekend. We had big plans. We were going to go to the farm for the weekend. Uh, we have about 20 acres that needs to be bush hogged right now, which is a lot of hours of mowing. And so I was gonna put one boy on a mower, one boy on a tractor, another boy on another tractor, and just knock it out this weekend. But one of my tractors exploded yesterday like the whole engine, like oil everywhere. It's a huge mess. So I worked on that for a while, trying to get it fixed. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so it's still not fixed. So we're not going to the farm for the weekend. So now we're trying to figure out exactly what we're doing. Since Jordan and Pepper were gone last night, uh, they had a slew of friends over. And uh, so I'm gonna make a big breakfast this morning. It's one of the things I love to do for the boys and their friends when they all pile into the house. It's a lot of fun to just make a bunch of biscuits, scrambled eggs, bacon, the whole works. I'm not I'm not a great cook, but I think I'm pretty good at breakfast. Gonna make a big breakfast this morning for them, and uh, who knows, we'll see what the uh, rest of the day holds. Probably more food and more cooking and more cleaning. Ah. So I bragged way too early about uh, breakfast. Ah. This home was so incredible. It's a ranch, so it's all one floor and has these beautiful glass double doors and you walk in and it's just open, high ceilings. Everything is just gorgeous because it's situated on this hill, kind of overlooking a valley in the mountains and the screened in porch is where we are going to live for the entire weekend. I am obsessed with this. So the view is incredible. It's so open and so we can all just kind of hang out in the kitchen and also be in the living room. I love how they designed this space. It's super like modern, but also still feels like you're in the mountains. And then we have three master bedrooms, which is really awesome, but they all have their own large bathrooms. And then look at our closet. This is bigger than my closet at home. It's so incredible. Have washer and dryer. It's just going to be perfect for what we need this weekend.
All right, it's been a long day, but we are finally uh, making dinner. But uh, we are grilling some steaks tonight. Uh, Jet's about to get off work. Uh, these steaks look amazing. So we're gonna throw those on the grill here in just a second, as soon as it gets hot enough. And uh, we're gonna have some great steaks for dinner tonight. Good morning, friends. Day two without Jordan and Pepper. We're missing him today, big time. I don't sleep great when Jordan's gone. I just, I just don't I like to. <laughs> I like to have her here. But I did get to do something cool last night. I got to sleep. Oh, let's see this. All the windows are open. I love sleeping with the windows open. Jordan hates it. She can like hear noises and stuff outside. It drives her crazy. But I love sleeping with the windows open. So it's so great to wake up this morning and have the windows open. I can hear the birds chirping. Stayed up way too late last night with the boys. Uh, just sitting out on the porch talking till about 12.30. But if you watched our last vlog on routines, you know that Jordan and I normally go to bed like between 10 and 10.30. So staying up till after midnight is not my not my jam. But uh, if you like have ever had teenage kids, you know that you can't force kids to talk, right? And every once in a while you catch them like on a night where they just want to talk about everything. And last night was one of those nights. So you just have to take advantage of it and talk as long as they will talk. Cause you never know how long it'll be before they'll talk to you again. Uh, but we've had a great guys weekend. All right, it's Saturday and we are doing more of the same. We are sitting around eating snacks and talking like girls do, watching Disney movies. Mm. <laughs> so not much to see here. I'm really curious what Pete has been busying himself with back at home. Probably lots of boy hangs. I'm sitting in the most amazing bathroom. It's gorgeous. Everything in this rental is stunning. It's right outside of Chattanooga. So it's mountainous and gorgeous. I'm gonna show you this um, shower. Two shower heads. That's stunning. Just a great view while you're showering. It's so beautiful on this tile. So we're just gonna do lots of this. We're gonna try to lay out today, just get some sun and look at this beautiful view and just, we're gonna order food in. We're literally not leaving the house because the two babies are on different nap schedules. So uh, when they're on two nap schedules, that means one sleeping when the other's awake. So you really can't leave the house, which is totally fine with me because this place is stunning and no one really wants to leave anyway. So we're gonna do lots of this today. So I'll show you a little bit of it and hopefully Pete is having fun with the boys. So I'm not exactly sure how this has happened, but uh, somehow the boys weekend has kind of just turned into one big cooking show for me. <laughs> it's like the only thing I've been doing all weekend is just cooking. So today um, it's gonna be a great day. We're gonna hopefully hit up the pool, maybe go out for some lunch, but tonight, uh, I want to uh, smoke a pork butt. Um, the boys love barbecue. It's something fun to do to have on the grill. Literally, it'll be on the grill all day long. So I'm going to season the uh, pork butt up with some uh, great Texas-inspired seasoning. And uh, going to put some apple wood on the grill uh, to create the smoke, which will be amazing. I've got that in the water right now. We'll get the big green egg started. And um, we are gonna smoke a pork butt all day long. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be delicious tonight, I can't wait. So our fire is hot enough now. I'm gonna start adding these uh, apple wood chunks, which will start, start the smoking process. That's gonna be a lot of smoke.
Oh, ho, 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 ho. This bad boy's ready to go on. Here we go. Big old pork butt. See this sucker in about eight, nine hours. So much cocoa melon pepper. You have lots of cocoa melon on. Yeah. Oh, don't take my veins, take it off. Ooh. Say hello. Hi. Say hi. So we have spent all day laying out and tanning, and now our girls are in bed, and so we're just hanging out on the porch, and it's amazing. everything up. I still have not washed my hair in three days. So now hoping that Pepper has a good two and a half hour ride back. She did great on the way down, but I'm a little nervous. Ladies and gentlemen, look who's back. Back in black. I'm back in black. How was girls trip? It was good. Pretty much girls trips are just like eating and sitting around and talking and you probably hate it. Did you play Bunko? No, we did play cards, um, but not Bunko. We played, I forget what it is, I forget what it's called. But anyway, we play cards like old women. So I have this theory about Bunko. I don't think Bunko's a real game. I think Bunko is a fake game that women have created to escape, to get away from their husbands. I've never played Bunko, I cannot see See, that. it's not real. It's not real, but my guess is you will soon. You'll get in Bunko tournaments, and I think it's an opportunity. That's not true, they totally I, play. I don't, I, I don't think there's a real game. I think Bunko stands for, we're gonna get away for the night and drink wine. Which I'm not saying you don't deserve it, but why don't we just call it what it is? I think they're just playing card games. I think Bunko Someone's might a be a, a dice game. Okay, probably dice, anyway. I'm glad you got away. Thank you, it and was I'm glad you took experience. Pepper. <laughs> Yeah, you just had the boys and everything yeah. I've heard you talk about was just basically you cooking. That's all I did. We had, as I said, this whole incredible weekend plan. We were going to go spend it on our farm and just be in the cabin. We were going to do tons of like bush hogging on the farm. We had all these like manly guy things planned. And then that tractor. Exploded. It's bad. Well, so you basically just made a bunch of food. The boys had friends over. Yeah, so the boys had friends over and uh, not a lot of footage of the boys, but if you've ever had teenage boys and tried to get pictures or video of them, you know that sometimes that can be a challenge. So it was easier for me to get video of food <laughs> because the video doesn't, or the food doesn't move. It just stays there. It doesn't complain about being videoed. <laughs> It doesn't think it has to take a shower before it's videoed. It just takes the video. Yeah, well, welcome to Pete Wilson's cooking show, everyone. I cooked a lot. We cooked... Dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur slash bird that just, like, did a flyover um, on us. Uh, we had a good weekend, though. It felt like, you know, old time. Like, yeah. there was a season where it was just me and the boys. And I can remember, you know, it's sometimes it's tough to feel a little lonely because they like to sometimes do things by themselves and stuff. But there's a season it was just me and the boys, and so it reminded me of that this weekend. I missed you like crazy. <laughs> I did, and I missed Pepper like crazy. It was like so crazy. great. Thanks for taking Pep. Thanks for disappearing. But I'm serious. We really did miss you, and we missed Pepper. Yeah. And now you're back. So now I get to eat this other thing you've been cooking. I've been smoking this Boston butt all day long. I cannot wait. Try to taste this. The true test. Let's pull that bone out. Oh, come on. What? Are you happy with it? I'm very happy. It's, it, sometimes it doesn't live up to my own hype. All right, so take a bite and we'll see. Honest opinion. Okay. Oh, that's a little dramatic. It's so good. It is so good. Oh. One of the best ones you've done? Maybe or like the best. Be honest. Really? Maybe the best. 
So we're hanging out tonight with the boys. I think we're gonna play some cornhole maybe. Cornhole's a real game. Bunko is not, but cornhole is a real game. You're way too passionate about Bunko. Yeah, we'll play cornhole. I'm pretty good at cornhole. She's not very I good. I am good. Mm. I'll prove it. Yeah, we'll see. Yep. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We did it, we survived. We did.